good morning good morning good morning it's mary mason foot here this morning i want to come to you um with a morning with morning manner today food from heaven where god has spoken to my spirit and i want to share with you oftentimes we as people we deal with our flesh we deal with temptation when we know we want to do right we still find ourselves doing wrong there are some of us out here we're struggling with drugs we're struggling with homosexuality we're struggling with adultery we're struggling with lying pride gossiping we're struggling with many things out here and we always wonder we hear people say well you know if you're a christian you wouldn't do this you wouldn't do that but you know what yeah we're supposed to have christ christ-like tendencies but sometimes our flesh gets in the way now i can personally you no know, testify like something that that i was dealing with it's like my flesh wouldn't let me be great so god gave me this message audio problem let's see can you hear me better now diane is it better now See, the enemy don't want this to go forth, I believe. Okay, great. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I'm glad you joined today. Hey, Tadrian. And so, you know, our, our flesh just don't want to die, just don't want us to be great. Don't want us to be overcomers of those things that God said, that God said that we can overcome. So I was reading in the Bible today, Matthew 17. When it was talking, when this man brought his son to Jesus, um, this, the, the boy had epileptic. And he said to Jesus, he said, you know, uh, my, my son, you know, this is, is, is sick. He has his epileptic. And he said, I've talked to some of your disciples. He said, but they couldn't heal my son. And Jesus got mad. He got mad because he said, you perverse generation. He was saying to the disciples, see, I gave you power. You believe and you have faith. He said, you supposed to have cast that demon out. So Jesus spoke to that, to the, to that spirit and immediately the spirit came out. And God was showing me the reason why that spirit came out because Jesus is power. Jesus represents the kingdom. And Jesus' faith was strong. Jesus fasted and he prayed. And God was saying that's the same thing with us. We got to have belief. What is belief? Belief is a feeling or trust. What is faith? Faith is a stronger belief or trust. So he's saying you got to add feelings and power on top of one another. And so he was saying with power, power is the ability to cause things to move, to have an influence on something. And even like say in this story, the disciples couldn't cast out that demon what was going on with that young man. But God, Jesus turned around and said, some of these things have to come out with fasting and praying. And that's the same thing with us. If we keep on, if we have our faith and we have belief and we know we have the power within us, which is Jesus Christ, but we still seem to keep on falling short of that sin, keep falling short of that temptation. That only means that we need to fast and pray. Fasting is starving our flesh because it's our flesh that makes the noise that want us to continue in the sin that we're doing or whatever, you know, offense we're doing. Our flesh does that. So we have to fast so we can crucify that flesh. Praying. Praying is, is simple. Praying is when you read the word of God, you read what the word of God says, like different stories, and that comes together in agreement with your spirit man to God. It's a dialect between you and God. But it's not knowing what people say. It's knowing what you know for yourself by reading the word of God. And when we read the word of God, it's going to line up with what God, what God word says. It's going to line up. He's going to activate that faith. And that's why like when, when we fast and we praying, we got to guard our eyes, our mouth. Um, our ears. We got to watch who we talk to. We got to watch what we don't. We got to watch what we watch on TV. We got to crucify our flesh, not only 
um, abstaining from water and food, which is killing the flesh, is, is making the body come under subjection. We also got to, you know, be careful of the things that we're saying and what we're doing and who we're talking to. Because if we're praying to God to bring us through something, if we're fasting and praying, asking God to give us victory, that means we got to cut the worldly things off. We got to cut people off. We got to cut things off because that's only going to hinder the process. Because we, we don't fast and pray just to say that we're fasting and praying. We're fasting for results. We want to be victorious in this thing that God said that we can be in. When we're fasting and praying, it allows the secret things that's hidden in our heart, those skeletons that's in our closet that people don't know about, those hidden desires that goes on with us that people don't know about. But when we fasting and praying, the Holy Spirit dig deep down into that hidden mess that's going on with us, and it exposes the enemy for who he is. It exposes and to show us that it's not us within our own might. That reason why we're not getting a victory, it exposed the, the enemy. It's the enemy within us. It's the enemy with that around us, like family and friends, so-called friends and, you know, people. It's the enemy. He worked through people. He worked through things. He worked through TV. But when we fast and pray, it exposed the enemy. God will let us know what it is. And that way we can confess with our mouth and we can speak it with our mouth and we can get the victory from it. We must also believe that Jesus is in the at, in heaven at the right hand of the Father. He's interceding for us. That means he's praying for us. He's praying that we get the victory. That was that's what Jesus is for. And he sent the Holy Spirit so that we can have comfort and strength and knowing that what we ask of and that we have a, a power, a higher power that's working with us in our faith and our belief to come through. These things that keep on separating us from God. When we read the word of God, we got to remember and we got to trust and believe that whatever his word says, that means we got to not only believe it with our, our ears and see it with our eyes, we got to believe it with our heart. Our heart pumps blood. Our heart is a is, is, is living. It's, it's, it's living inside of us. It's what have us, it make us function. And if we believe it in our heart and we put it down in our heart, that thing that we asking God for it is going to come to pass. See, I have like a little symbol right before you. Believe. What we must do, we must believe. If, if we, in our belief, and it's shaking, we must fast and we must pray. We must know that God is going to bring us through no matter what. There is there is nothing in our life that we cannot come through that God won't help us out. God will bring us through. So, again, we must know the recipe for victory is belief plus your faith plus power, sometimes fasting and praying, and in the end, it gives us the victory. I pray to God that I said something that can be a blessing to you. I pray to God that this word go forth and it can help you or help someone else. We got the victory, y'all. We just got to trust in God's word. We got to read his word. And we got to have mustard seed faith in knowing that whatever we ask of God, that he would do it. Not just material thing. Because God works from the inside out. God want to bless us with things. He want to bless us with material things. He want to bless us with a new job. He want to bless us with deliverance. God want to bless us. But it has to start from the inside out. The inside harbors so many things. Ill feelings, unforgiveness. The inside, God wants to deal with that. And when God deals with the inside of what's going on with us, it's going to manifest on the outside. So you trust and believe today. You trust and believe that when we read the word of God, that it's going to come through. All we have to do is believe. When the enemy comes up against you, and he make you say, hey, that ain't going to work. I want you to turn around and be the big elephant in the room. Stand out before the enemy. Stand out and show him that I win. The big elephant represents I'm the big thing in the house. That, that your spirit man that's lining up with God's word and what God says, it stands up to the enemy. And you get the victory and you will conquer every single time. Y'all have a blessed day. 
Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Have a personal relationship with him. Trust that he's going to do whatever you ask of him. And just believe. And know that it's a recipe for victory. It equals power and you get the victory. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.